Okay, these are the instructions on how to repair and replace a keycap and mechanism for an HP or compact keyboard. What you're looking at is the cup provided and the keycap. Attached to the back of the keycap, you'll find the mechanism. If you order just the hardware, you won't have the keycap. You'll receive the cup and the mechanism by themselves. If you did order the keycap, then we're going to show you how to remove the clip from the back of the key. This needs to be done before you install the part. You're going to get a small tool such as a precision screwdriver and you're going to get between the clip and the keycap and gently remove the two pieces from each other. Moving on to the replacement, you're going to want to first orient the clip in a direction so it can go onto the keyboard. In this case, we're going to put the clip this way. We're doing this because you have two metal tabs here and two metal tabs up here, which the clip will attach to. For these two metal tabs here, they're going to need to slide onto this rectangular piece and this rectangular piece. If the clip is upside down, that is, it's rotated this way, it won't allow for those parts to go onto the keyboard. So we're going to have to turn it back the other way. Now also, your clip could also be flipped this way, which is also incorrect. The best way to tell is to look at this part and this part. You'll see them little plastic humps on the pieces of clip here. Those should be facing down. And you'll also see a raised piece of plastic along here. That should also be facing down towards the keyboard. So we're going to need to flip it around. That's the correct way. Now we're going to go ahead and put the clip onto the keyboard. So how we're going to do that is we're going to move the clip over first and we're going to attach the clip onto these upper metal pieces first. It's going to attach onto this piece and this piece on the inside here. So you're going to kind of tilt it up and you're going to move it down over those two pieces like that. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach the clips onto this and this side of it. So you're just going to push down here and push down there. It's very subtle, but it does clip over. Now the last step here is to put the cap onto the keyboard itself. You're just going to place it center over the clip and press down. Now we didn't show you, but if you need to replace the rubber spring cup, it simply goes in the middle of the clip before the cap goes on it. Now if you're trying to replace the clip for one of the top row of keys, like the function keys or the scroll, pause, insert, or delete, it has a different type of clip. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking at the clip and it's going to have a keyhole looking shape on it. This part of the keyhole, which is I would say the top of the keyhole, is going to slide underneath this metal piece here. So you always want to have those facing the same direction. Also, the key the key is flipped the right way if the inner piece lays on top of the outer piece. I'm talking about this section right here. This piece here is sitting on top of this outer piece here. So we're going to go ahead and quickly just slide this piece on here first. This is going to go over the keyhole part and then you're going to push down on the left and the right back portions of the clip and they're going to slide under these two pieces here. And then you just put the keycap over the top and push down as before. And that's it.